Coming soon, a phone that is going to change the way you ride. Heads? Tails? It's tap, kick, room. Coming soon, a phone that is going to change the way you ride. Heads? Tails? It's tap, kick, room. Coming soon, a phone that is going to change the way you ride. Heads? Tails? It's tap, kick, room. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Senior Vice President Samsung India Electronics, Mr. Asim Varsi. Hey guys, I'm delighted to be here and I must say it feels really cool to be asked to come on stage on a bike. Lovely to be here with you all. Today is a really epic day for us at Samsung India. We are here getting set to launch an all new device, a brand new feature, and we are really confident that this is going to redefine the way consumers have and view their mobility experience. Today we are going to share an innovation that is really going to usher in a radical change in the way people ride and the way people live with their mobile devices. Today, Samsung is ready to make the leap with its vision of meaningful innovation in India, keeping the consumer at the epicenter of our focus. This is really our aim to enrich consumer lives and really fulfill and enhance the way they live and work forward. Truly from being a phone to becoming a real companion, smart, smartphones from Samsung have really come a long way. Our innovation, driven by consumer needs, is making, is really making everyday tasks, everyday lives of consumers simpler and more enriched. Our pioneering technology at Samsung India is the result of a conversation that the brand is really been enjoying over the years to have had with its consumers here. When you look at 2015, Samsung reimagined the portfolio and we developed exciting new hardware, exciting new software, and great new services. Now, 2016, we are driven to push the frontiers of what's possible and what really lies beyond. Our entry and stronghold into the wearables as well as the VR segment chronicle exactly that, and you would have seen that in the recent times. Now, besides our global innovations, it is our constant endeavor at Samsung India to create valuable products that are relevant to consumers and truly enrich the lives of Indian consumers. Precisely why we at Samsung make for India. Now, recent innovations and additions have really been, and you would recollect, around the ultra data saving mode, the My Galaxy application, and the recent all new exclusive Samsung concierge service for our premium consumers in India. All of these, ladies and gentlemen, have been made right here in India. Now for Samsung, the make for India philosophy 
is, is really around our mobile initiatives. And recently, you would have seen the UDS, the 4G LTE offerings. All of these combined together have created a paradigm shift for consumers in India. The powerful UDS feature that helps consumers save up to 50% mobile data has been loved and lapped up by consumers across this country. Also, the UDS feature has helped double the battery standby time for consumers and in turn has further helped differentiate and elevate the whole experience of data saving and battery enhancement. Developed right here in our labs in the R&D setup in India at Samsung, we have nearly, and yes, we have nearly 50% of our J-series consumers in India who have latched onto this feature and are enjoying it. And mind you, they've saved up to 20,000 GB of data already our consumers have saved in India by using this feature. And they've been using it to enhance their rapidly growing consumption of internet for content that they fancy, whether it's videos, shopping, and all of that and more, and really taking our asli 4G platform in their lives. It is this really, our commitment, which is towards a consumer-centric approach to bring valuable as well as meaningful innovations to the market and to our consumers out here in India that has helped us, has propelled us to hold on to and further strengthen our number one slot and our number one position in the Indian smartphone market. Today, in February 2016, Samsung sits at 46.6% overall smartphone value market share in India. Now, for all our path-breaking innovations that we were loved for by our consumers and awarded by experts across the industry, our pursuit of excellence has resulted actually in some of the most prestigious acknowledgements and awards coming to the way of Samsung, the most trusted brand of India by the Brand Trust of India, the smartphone of the year by Exhibit Tech Awards, the most stylish smartphone of the year by CNBC Awards, and last but not the least, the best flagship of the year by Mobility Magazine. We are indebted, we are humbled, and these are the acknowledgments media and experts of the industry have given us. That said, this success is really because our innovation did not happen in isolation out here in India. Our research and development operations at India and our sales and marketing functions work closely together in tandem in India to bring alive all these cool new innovations, and the result is really for the world and for the country to see out there. On this note, I'd like to invite my colleague, Depesh Shah, onto stage to talk about our latest innovation out here today. Depesh. Thank you, Asim. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to be here. It's an opportunity to talk about innovation because that's what we do at Samsung every day. India has the largest R&D center of Samsung outside of Korea employing about 10,000 of India's best talent to create meaningful differentiation in our products and services. For instance, Samsung 4G smartphones have best-in-class modem, voice-over LTE, and multimedia experiences built from the India R&D. In India, our local marketing, sales, R&D, design, quality team get together regularly to define what is meaningful and deliver the same to consumers. Thanks to our consumers, we are encouraged by their response and we want to do more for them. After the phenomenal success of UDS and My Galaxy, we were thinking of what could be our next innovation. Right at that time, the marketing team came up with this awesome insight on the world of riding. So we love getting to know our consumers, and frankly, this time around was no different either. We got back to the basics and looked at various demographics. We looked at our consumers. Who are they? How old are they? Where do they live? Where do they work? What do they do for work? And very critically, how do they get from home to work and back? We saw that 70% of our entry-level consumers use two-wheelers as their primary mode of transport and as their vehicles. Upon closer examination and our own internal anal analytics, we found that these consumers spend on an average of 90 minutes per day on their two-wheelers every day. Now, during these rides, they are chased, and we all understand that. We see that in our own lives 
They chase relentlessly by banking, insurance, realty sector representatives, all trying to seek them out as their own consumers. We've seen riders fumble, and we've seen how, how dangerous it is and it can get. This really was the trigger to a deeper insight and the project forward. So at R&D, to see how we could help our two-wheeler riders in this country, we engaged with them, we spent hours understanding why do they take the calls while riding. The most surprising thing we discovered was that it's not really a need to stay connected all the time. Those are driving these behaviors while riding. But it's understanding what is that most important call that I am likely to receive while I am riding. Absolutely, Dipesh. You know, unlike the car driver who is, who is okay to take a call and wants to take a call while he's driving, unlike that, a motorcycle rider does not want to be disturbed, and we saw that, we observed that. However, motorcycle riders are forced to answer calls for the fear of missing or the anxiety of missing that important call or the urgent call that could come their way. Yet, these riders themselves are concerned about their security, and we heard that out from them. The deepest insight that we unraveled by the integrated team that worked on this was that the biker wants to enjoy a tension-free ride, and we saw that very, very clearly. The first thing they normally did when they picked up their phone was to inform that they're riding, and they expressed their desire to call back later. We picked this as well. All of this, we passed on to R&D and Dipesh and his team, and from there, they took over. Friends, it was indeed an amazing insight, a real challenge faced by the bikers on the move today. They want help to avoid unwanted calls and drive safely. However, they are anxious to miss out on important calls. The team in India got excited to solve this problem and came together. A team of designers, developers and testers who rode thousands of hours on the road to test this mode. It took 20,000 hours of effort to create this revolutionary feature. And I'm glad to announce that this very team that has redefined what is cool among two-wheelers in India is sitting right here amongst us today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the turning point for two-wheeler mobility is right here. But before we reveal the phone to you, we want to share our advertisement film that will go live on air today. We hope you like it. Johnny boy, ride pe chale. Chal, chal. Chill thoda bike pe kare. Chal, chal. Johnny boy. Uh oh. Sir, aapko mutual fund mein invest karna hai? No boss, thank you. Bike pe baat ke investment plan, Johnny. Come on, man. Sorry, bro. Anyway. Johnny boy, ride pe chale. Chal, chal. Chill thoda bike pe kare. Not again. Johnny, what's up? Baby, I'm riding. I'll call you back. Okay. Ride ke beech mein chit chat fizul Johnny so not cool so not cool Johnny boy ride pe chal 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 chill thoda bike pe chal Johnny where's the presentation I mailed it in the morning sir Thank God dekha ride ke beech mein boss ka phone Johnny kyu leta hai load when you're on the road go for only Samsung Galaxy J3 the best bike mode Caller sunega ke tum chala rahe ho bike you can call back if you like aur agar call important hua to to caller one dabayega tera phone baj jayega to bike side pe lagayega aur baat kar payega simple really Johnny samsung galaxy g3 with s bike mode right tension free on the road i would now like to invite on stage mr kunal behel ceo of snapdeal and mr manu sharma director of product marketing samsung india electronics Ladies and gentlemen, we're extremely excited to bring to you the India made, the very revolutionary S bike mode in the all new Samsung Galaxy J3.
Thank you. 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 A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. Uh, we also have Auto Media today, and welcome. And we have not, uh, of course, interacted with you. A warm welcome to all of you as well. And people watching in the webcast, uh, you guys rock. Thanks for your support. Well, uh, you know, we're really excited about the S bike mode, and it's a really cool feature. And it's Samsung's commitment to drive innovation. There's a lot more we will offer on this product, and I'll talk more. In detail on that. Let's first start with Tap Kick Room. Well, Tap Kick Room is a, actually a new phenomenon which we're kick starting. It's going to become a ritual and will bring mobility and biking together seamlessly. And our vision is really we see the biking community using this all over India for a tension free ride. It's as simple as a three steps. Tap is all about using your Galaxy J3 and you tap on the NF60 tag which is available which we shared uh, right here. So you tap on that, you activate your S bike mode and all you have to do is kick start your bike and broom you off. So you tap, you kick and broom. So three simple steps will allow you an absolutely tension free ride. Now, we've launched the S-Bike mode, and it's just not a, a software feature, but it also allows a great hardware combination using NFC technology in this particular NFC tag. So what it really does is, um, you know, you, you use the NFC uh, sticker, and uh, you move on in terms of uh, your biking experience. For that, I'd like to really demonstrate to you uh, we have a biker in standby mode right now, and we'll see his everyday life, how he go about riding his bike, and what kind of uh, you know tension he kind of faces. So let's uh, look at this uh, video where uh, this biker is going about his everyday business. So what he is doing is he started, you know, he went to his bike. He tapped the Galaxy J3 on the NFC tag, which is available with the Galaxy J3, and off he goes. Now, that's a typical journey of a biker. He's biking. But every day we are bombarded with so many telecalling uh, you know, representatives. Uh, we get calls from all over the place, including fam friends, family, office, and whatnot. So let me just become a telemarketing executive and, and let me just call up this biker and see how he reacts. You know, so let me just uh, make a call right now and see what happens. So I'm using a Galaxy J3 to call out uh, this person. The person you're calling is riding a bike and has activated the Samsung S-Bike mode. If your call is urgent and you want the person to stop and take your call, press 1. You know, as you can hear, there's a pre-recorded message uh, which is playing. So when a caller calls someone who's on a bike with the S-Bike mode on, he's alerted that this person is riding a bike. So every time you turn on the S-Bike mode, a caller will be sensitized that you know, this person is riding the bike. It's as, as simple as that. So when you see, you know, when I call this biker, for example, he's riding absolutely worry-free. The call is uh, you know, uh, gone through, but I hear the message back of a uh, simple pre-recorded message. The great thing we have done is we have pre-recorded this message in 14 Indian languages so that Rider can choose of the particular preference into the language as well. So that's a typical situation, you know, when you're trying to write, uh, reach out to the biker, and that's what you hear. But then again, there are situations where you want to actually get in touch with the biker, and uh, you want to get in touch with because it's something urgent. 
So uh, what do you do in that circumstances? You will need to reach the biker, right? So in that case, let me just give an example of what we do. Let me just call up this biker again and see what happens. And I become a boss this time, so let me call him as like a boss. This number is not reachable. Please try again later. So I'll try one more time. It seems like the person is busy. This number is not reachable. Okay. It's not working this time, but when you heard the last time when I, I dialed, what you heard was that, hey, I'm riding a bike, and, you know, I'll call you back later. But if it is urgent, then you please press 1, right? So it really gives the power, uh, uh, you know, to the caller also if he needs to urgently reach out to the biker. And uh, that's how, you know, the call goes through to the bike. So what happens is really, uh, you know, when the call goes through, uh, the caller, the, the, the biker gets an urgent incoming call uh, notification, uh, which pops up. And he hears a very distinct sound, which is a distinct ringtone we have specially designed for the bikers, so that even in, you know, high traffic ambient noise, this call and this tune can be heard. Now, he, th he cannot take the call unless he comes to a stop because Samsung has also enabled a motion lock feature on this bike which will not allow him to take the call while he's still in motion. So for him to take the call, he will have to stop on the side and pull over to actually take the call. Just see in the example. Can we go into the video, please? So it's as simple as that, uh, you know, so it's really taking care of some of the pain points of the bikers. The pain points of the bikers are three challenges that this biker face. One is, you know, it's about the apprehension of missing a call, which we address it's really through the automated reply he gets in terms of the voice machine, which really works like an assistant to this person, which tells the caller, hey, I'm riding a bike right now. So the caller can decide whether to disturb or not. Second challenge that biker face is really about, uh, you know, the anxiety of missing urgent calls. And that is taken care of because the caller can press one, and the call goes to where the biker can actually take that call. And the third thing is really about the safety aspect, which is very important. With the motion lock feature that we have enabled in this, the biker will have to stop his bike completely to, to be able to take the call. In fact, we've gone beyond that in terms of making this S-bike more, more intuitive and so that the experience of the biker is further enhanced. We also have something called notification. So when a biker is riding, say for example, for half an hour, uh, there could be numerous calls which could come through when he's riding the S-bike mode. And he can go towards the end of the journey, stop, and see all the possible missed calls which were there. And he can call them back. It's a pretty cool feature. We also have very interesting feature called Smart Reply. Now, we know a lot of bikers, families are anxious when they're going to come back home. So they're always trying to reach them out uh, you know, at times to check where they are. With with the smart reply, the biker can choose up to five of the contacts, the family members, for example. And these family members, when they try to reach the biker, when the biker is riding with the S-bike mode on, these family members will get an automated SMS when they try to reach him, saying, hey, I'm riding the bike right now, and I will be at this location in 15 minutes, because he has pre-fed 
a location, for example, coming home. As the stat becomes very intuitive and gives your family absolutely worry free uh, you know, uh, environment. And third thing is really about my rights, which captures all the statistics which is available in terms of how many kilometers you have ridden the bike with the S bike mode, so you can track your performance as well. So let me really summarize in terms of what uh, the S bike mode is and how it really works with this video. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy J3 with the revolutionary S-Bike mode. Activate the mode by simply tapping the phone on the S-Bike NFC tag before the ride. The S-Bike mode's urgent call alert system will inform the caller that the person is riding. If you want the person to stop riding and take your call because it's urgent, please press 1. If the caller expresses urgency by pressing 1, the rider will get an alert of the urgent incoming call. The motion lock feature encourages responsible riding by ensuring that calls are answered only after bringing the bike to a halt. Samsung Galaxy J3 with S-Bike mode, ride tension-free on the road. So that's the S-Bike mode and, um, you know, I just got to know that the bike is actually riding right now. I'm going to show you how it works again. So can I have this thing, uh, projection in the back? Let me just call up this caller just to share with you. Uh, that's what you hear. Can you go back, please? Yes, just hold on. Yeah. The person you're calling is riding a bike and has activated the Samsung S bike mode. If your call is urgent and you want the person to stop and take your call, press 1. So I can press 1 and your call. Good. So when I press one, the caller gets this, you know, the urgent incoming call, and of course that sound of the, uh, the ringtone pops in, and the motion locks tells that you have to stop to take the call. So that's how it works. So a uh, pretty cool feature. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, um, let me also take this opportunity, and uh, you know, the S bike mode is such a cool feature to have, and to get really the brains behind those work day in day out. Uh, in terms of uh, innovating this feature and bringing it for us. So I would like to call the STAR team who's worked on this particular feature. So first and foremost, the fuel tank of this S-Bike mode, Amitosh Singh. So Amitosh is responsible for the endless supply of the ideas and insight, a great uh, person in terms of the product innovation team. Thanks, Amitoch. The engine of the S-Bike is Taslim Arif, actually, who drove the complete project management of S-Bike. Taslim is from R&D. Uh, the spark plug is Ishiani Ghosh uh, for leading the, uh, the design and interface innovation. And the whole interface. Thank you. The accelerator. Uh, Manoj Kumar, actually, he helped in all the technical execution of that. Thanks, Manoj. And last but not least, the navigator of this whole project is uh, Amit Kumar. Uh, thanks, Amit. So this team worked tirelessly to get the S-Bike mode alive, and we strongly feel at Samsung this is going to be another revolution in terms of how UDS picked up S bike mode is going to be another big thing from Samsung side and be a big boon for the bikers. So, guys, thanks a lot. For, I really appreciate it for all your efforts. Thanks.
Thanks. You know, the S bike mode, of course, is very innovative, but we ensured that we covered the hardware equally well as well. So let me just get uh, into what the hardware has to offer. Let's start with display. Firstly, it it's has a five inch uh, HD display with super AMOLED technology. You know, super AMOLED technology is Samsung own propriety, which gives 100 times better contrast compared to a TFT screen, uh, which means you get you know, deeper blacks and brighter whites. Second is it's got 40% more color gamut. That means uh, you see uh, much larger available colors that, that brings uh, true to life colors uh, on the screen. In terms of the performance, uh, it comes with a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor with 1.5 GB of RAM. So all your multi multitasking and performance is absolutely taken care of with this device. We ensure the UDS is also available on the device and we've taken a step forward. UDS allowed a promise of 50% of saving on your data while you are video streaming uh, or you web browsing or using certain applications. We've gone beyond now and you can save on data even on Wi-Fi plus a select music st streaming services as well. We've ensured they've covered the camera department equally well as well. It's got an eight megapixel rear shooter and a five megapixel front camera. Both comes with F 2.2 aperture which allows uh, great photography not just in daylight but actually uh, awesome photography in low light condition with uh, this aperture. It's a beautiful looking design uh, and it's extremely slim at just 7.9 mm. Uh, weighs very light at 138 grams and comes in three beautiful colors, gold, black and white. Now as far as price is concerned, uh, this product will be available from today uh, in the market and it's priced at rupees 8990 and this device will be available only through our online partner Snapdeal. Okay. So to really talk about more how you can get hold of this cool device with the S-Bike mode, I'd like to welcome back on stage Kunal uh, to share his news. Thanks, Thanks Manu. Um, yeah, I'm really excited uh, to be here. Uh, I'll try and not read from the teleprompter. Uh, I'm sure someone in Samsung skipped a beat. Um, you know, I, when I saw this uh, feature for the first time, I was really, really excited for three big reasons. About three years ago, one of our team members in Bangalore was returning, used to be a bike rider, uh, was a bike rider, he was returning from, from work to his home and he actually got, uh, got into an accident while uh, picking up a phone call and unfortunately got run over, his leg got run over by a truck. And the moment I saw this, it resonated to me that there are millions and millions of bikers in India who actually will find this very, very, very useful and something that will encourage safe riding for them as well. So for our team, I felt this was a great feature because many of our team members are bike riders. Then as I thought about many of our consumers, many of them are bike riders also. Hence it made a ton of sense for us to work with Samsung on the launch of this device, which I genuinely feel is a you know, made for India innovation given India is one of the largest, if not the largest, bike riding market in the world. And then finally, I would say for our um, the many, many thousands of delivery boys who are delivering e-commerce packages across the country, you know, we, we would often, in the early days, we would give the number of the delivery boy to the consumer so that they could coordinate exact time and location, etc., landmarks. But that ended up being a very unsafe thing to do because you know, they were obviously driving and they would keep getting calls from the customer, where are you, I'm waiting for you, etc. And every month we would hear of accidents being reported. So we actually stopped sharing the number. So you think about how powerful this feature can now be, at least from our business's perspective, 
and from the perspective of thousands and thousands of people in the ecosystem around our business. The other thing I really liked about this device um, was how frictionless it is. And for those in our friends in the media who know about our perspective on frictionlessness, which is a key vision for Snapteal, which is building India's most frictionless and reliable commerce ecosystem, it was very much in line with that. It's just a tap. It just couldn't get more frictionless than that. If it required you to go open an app and then put a security code and then activate a mode, no one's going to use it. I think I really want to commend the engineers at Samsung who have done a phenomenal job building a truly made for India innovation. And I can tell you, we, we run a large engineering team, a technology company. It's not easy. They've made it look very easy, coming up with such innovations that eventually millions of people will use and is meant for the Indian use cases is really, really great. My hat's off to the Samsung, uh, Samsung team. Um, and, and of course, um, uh, you know, I've now run past my teleprompter time, I'm sure, but let me see if there's something else I have to say. But Manu, go ahead if you have well, to ask Kinar, me other I, things. I, I totally resonate. And, you know, there are almost 200 million uh, bikers out there, uh, you know, so it becomes a huge opportunity really to uh, make a very strong uh, reason for them to buy. And uh, we, when we ourselves were building this uh, capability, and a uh, lot of uh, engineers who ride bike, and yeah. it came seamlessly where a similar kind of experience would brought alive uh, from them in terms of addressing the challenges. And I think the S-Bike mode addresses those three pain points of you know apprehension, anxiety, and the safety aspect very well. Yeah. I totally resonate with that. Uh, Kunal, it's a very great to part partner with you on this. And also, I believe you guys are giving a special offer for us. Yeah. So, um, so you know, we, we wanted to make sure, uh, obviously, we are, it's about a phone that we are selling. So ev we are going to do a, a, an offer where, um, you know, consumers who are buying this phone get a chance to win up to 1,500 rupees in, in free charge credits uh, a month. Uh, which is quite substantial. You can use it against uh, the use of, um, you know, paying on Snapdeal, paying on many merchants, booking tickets, paying your, topping up your mobile phone, paying your electricity bill, whatever you want. Um, so I'm quite excited that, uh, you know, Snapdeal and all of its, uh, you know, our partner companies are coming together to really make this a very successful device. Yeah. That's great, Kunal. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks. It. Thanks. Well, uh, just very briefly about this contest uh, is uh, on the free charge is that um, consumers uh, who, uh, you know, use the S-Bike mode and, uh, and across the states uh, in India, uh, in each state we have defined a number of users. When they use the S-Bike mode, they can win uh, this, uh, this chance of getting 1,500 rupees voucher to free charge. So thanks, Kunal, for that. We also have partnered with Vodafone. Uh, so you get special offers when you buy the Galaxy J3 and uh, where you can get uh, twice the data over a period of six months on certain plans. So a special offer from Vodafone where we are co-marketing together. Plus, we also um, announced uh, you know, a special contest on 26th of March where uh, we uh, started this campaign of tap, kick, broom. The whole idea was to create an intrigue among consumers what this was all about. And of course, there was smartphone, there was bike, and there was school feature there. So the contest was really about in the, in the Twitter, in the Facebook, in the social media, really, for them to guess and come as close to as possible uh, to what this product really offers. And uh, we're pleased to announce there are three winners who came very close in terms of guessing uh, what the S-Bike mode is, uh, is uh, all about. So we have uh, uh, Ashish Deshmukh, Srini, and Avigyan Ch Chatterjee. So uh, congratulations to the winners and also all the participants, uh, you know, because we got amazing response on this particular contest. So thank you. Now, I would like to play an AV on uh, J3, uh, what the product really has to offer. Can we have that, please?
So, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's Samsung's vision and its commitment uh, to bring technology and innovation together, which really touches people's life. And uh, what we've been doing for years, and today is one of the examples of our testimony of this commitment, the S-Bike mode will offer millions of bikers out there uh, you know, a much more improved uh, biking experience. And that's our philosophy of really touching and improving uh, people's lives. Thank you very much.